Again, practicing lighting. Reverse key lighting to be exact. Hmm. Let's change up the look a little bit. This time we're gonna go for more of a warmer look, maybe sunset. One light here in the reverse key lighting shooting through diffusion. Another one on the floor, shooting towards the background, trying to change the room ambience. Black feel on the opposite side of my face. The results. Backlight. Key light. Plus, I need to sit up. Framing's all off. With no lights. All right, guys, so there are two versions of this light. There is the ADC panel light, and then there's also the ADBN light. Now, the ADBN light is the more true, accurate light as far as the color spectrum goes. And then the ADC is the color version, which has some RGB colors. Absolutely fantastic. And now again, the specs on them are like high on the end. Like I'm really not gonna talk too much about them because the equipment that they use to measure this, I don't have. I did find a couple of YouTube videos that guys who know a lot about these color spectrum and, and the light intensity, they have equipment to compare it to other lights. I'll put some links down in the video below so you can take a look at those guys. But as far as just a general consumer user, they're fantastic. Like the color representation is absolutely fantastic. I do have one other panel light. The colors to get white light, it mixes red, blue, and green. Like it's like that RGB mix and it's not like a true white. These lights are so close. I mean, like they're fantastic. Like it's the, the best stuff that I've ever used. One of the features that I thought was really cool, there is this special technology where the way they position each light is in a different position, which actually renders a lot more natural shadows, which I always tend to find in some of my other panels, the, the shadows were kind of like always kind of hard. I mean, even though you can soften them up, they, there's just something about them. And the way they position these bulbs really randomizes that shadow. So it's more of a natural shadow. Now, one of the features also that I liked on these lights, they do have this special technology I think it's called the TIR lens. And these lenses are to basically help 3X the, the output, the way they magnify the output. You get more true light than I guess you would with your traditional just LED panel versions. So that is something that I definitely noticed. I am using one right off here. That's why I keep looking to this side here. It is right off of here. And again, I'm trying to, like I said earlier in the video, when you set up your lighting, motivate it there is a window behind this light so that is my motivated lighting and that just that tip right there motivated lighting really helps me to set up my lights when i first get right like, okay where am i where's the motivated light where's the light source coming from in this case it's going to be this is simulating a window another feature on the the daylight warm light one uh, which is basically the adbn uh, another special technology they used inside of it which they call the blww and what they used to achieve white light was they use a combination of blue 
blue, lemon green, cool white, and a warm white. That's what they use to actually achieve a closer spectrum to what is true daylight and stuff like that. And I guess with the technology they also use, it's able to cons consistently keep out an 80 watt output no matter what the color range is. So the color spectrums are pure. It's like, like one of the most purest LED panel lights on the market, if not the purest right now at this moment. And then the app, absolutely fantastic an actual an actual app that's usable one of the features for me was setting scenes you saw in the video like i i had all those scenes were set and automated which was really cool and again you basically just set your preset for the light intensity color set it and then make another preset set it take those presets insert them into a sequence and then the sequence allows you to set fade times in between sequences and hold time so you Theoretically, you can set up a nice little scene. If you didn't have the like the full dimmer board, you can basically get some general looks with this, just with the app. And then also, you, you know, you can take a picture of your scene and then drag each light in the app and in its position. So if you don't know, if you have multiple lights, what light is that? Well, you can just put their placement on this actual app on the photo and you know, boop, just tap on it. And it's, it's super easy. It's really one of the most effective apps that I've seen that comes with a light <laughs> at all that I've seen right now, top notch. They have a V-mount hookup, so you can hook up a big bulky battery to it and you're ready to go. You can also power this with USB-C, but it needs to be USB-C 100 or something like that output. And you can power these with USB-C, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. So if you need to go mobile, you have that option. And then again, getting back into as far as, you know, professionalism of these lights, they actually have DMX connections. I used to work in a theater. DMX is what we use to control all of our lights. I toured around the country for years and every professional theater house had DMX inputs and outputs. So these lights can integrate right into any studio setting or any type of theater, theatrical setting, which is fantastic. And of course, these lights have the intelligent fans inside. So the light will never overheat. If it does, it has a protect mode. It will also shut off, but you're pretty much good and safe on that. Again, I footage stuff. I cannot stress the quality of their equipment. I have their sliders. I have model pods from them, tripods. Their stuff is top notch, you know. Again, all the info is down below if you're interested in that. Also, take a look at this video here. You can see me doing some more techniques using the Canon EOS HIM in the new crop mode and just using some other lights that I have that are not super high end. They're just more low quality lights, but I'm able to still get some good looks at them because practicing, practicing, practicing. Peace.